Using BIM 360 Team, you have continuous access to your project, meaning you can collaborate anytime from anywhere. In this session, we'll explore the BIM 360 Team mobile app. Let me start off by saying that the mobile app is available for iOS and Android smartphones and tablets. That being said, I'm using an iPad for this demonstration. To launch BIM 360 Team, I'll tap the icon. I will then log in using my credentials. When the application comes up, we can see a folder view of all of the projects. I'm going to jump into the Fish Pond Road Improvements project. I'll do that by tapping on the folder. From here, we can see the subdirectories. Let's take a look at plan sheets. In here, I can see a thumbnail of all the plan sheets in this project. If I tap the list icon in the upper right corner, I can switch this to a list view. Let me tap again to flip it back to thumbnail. I will then tap to open plan and profile sheet two. To review this sheet, I can use standard gestures, two fingers to pan. I can pinch outward to zoom in or inward to zoom out. If you remember, this is a sheet we added comments to a little bit earlier. To open the comments pane, I'm going to tap the comments button on the left side of the interface. It's the lowest one there in the stack. From here, I can see a listing of the comments that were added to the sheet. Now, just like in the browser version, if I tap the thumbnail, I can jump to that area on the page. To close the comments pane, I can tap the X in the upper left corner. I will then close the sheet by tapping the X in the upper left corner. Finally, we'll click in the upper left corner one more time to jump to the project level directory. Let's take a look in the aggregated models folder. I will then tap to open the proposed underground utilities model. It's important to note that even though I'm using the mobile device, I can still review both plan sheets and models. To zoom in, I will pinch outward. I can then use one finger to orbit. Now, as I orbit, you can see the rotation point is quite a distance away. To make things a little easier, I'm going to tap on a light pole that will move the rotation point to that object. Now, if I orbit, we can see that we are orbiting around that light pole. I'll use two fingers to pan this over, and then we'll zoom in. Likewise, even though I'm using a mobile device, I can also comment on plan sheets or models. Let's try adding a comment. I have some concerns about the clearance between these crossing utilities. I'm going to start by turning off the existing ground surface. I'll do that by tapping it, and then I'll press hide. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. I'll tap the crossing utility, and then I'll tap add comment. Since I'm using a mobile device, I don't even have to type. I can talk. Do we have enough clearance between these utilities? Question mark. When I'm finished with my comment, I can tap Post. This will then be added to the comments pane where all of the other project members will have access to it. Once again, I'll tap to close the comments pane. Let's close this model. And we'll return to the top level project folder. Another benefit of using the mobile device is that I can leverage the camera. Let's assume I'm out walking the project site and I find what looks to be an underground utility. First, I'm going to select a plan sheet to help me describe the area. I'm going to select Plan and Profile Sheet 1. I will then pinch out to zoom in on that area. I'll tap and add a comment. We may have an underground utility to contend with, period. I'll take a picture and leave it in the Images folder, period. Notice the camera icon in the lower left corner of the comment. If I tap that, I can then tap the pencil icon to further clarify my comment in the form of a markup. When finished, I'll press Done, and then I'll tap Post. Let's close the Comments pane, and we'll close this sheet. We'll return to the top level folder, and then I'm going to create a directory. I'll do that by clicking the Add button in the upper right corner, and I'll choose Create Folder. We'll call this folder Images, and I'll tap Create. This takes me into the folder. I will then tap the Add button again, and I'll choose Take Photo. I will then take a picture of the underground cable sign that I found. I'll tap Use Photo, and then I'll tap Post. This will upload the image to the project and notify all of the other team members of the new file. Finally, I'll tap the upper left corner to return to the top level project folder. For collaboration to be truly effective, you should eliminate as many restrictions as possible. Using the BIM 360 Team mobile app, you can contribute to your project's success at any time, from anywhere, using a smartphone or tablet. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.